Hello and welcome to another Getting Started video for Password Hub Business. This video will show you how to connect to your organization's Password Hub using single sign-on and introduce you to some basic functionalities to get you started. Topics will include creating your account using the welcome email, storing your private key, accessing and using the web portal, and creating entries both manually and automatically with the Devolutions Web Login Browser Extension. In today's example, our user Kelly, who works in the Service Desk Department, is about to receive an invitation email from her organization to join the Windjammer Corp Password Hub. Let's head on over to Kelly's inbox and check out that email. Since her organization opted to authenticate using single sign-on with Office 365, she'll have to make sure that she uses the Sign In with Microsoft option whenever she wants to log into her Password Hub. But before we get to that, it'll probably be best for her to keep this email handy because in a moment, she'll need to copy and paste the invitation ID and key to set up her account. So here, she'll click on Sign In with Microsoft, and since she was just in her Outlook email, she's already signed into her Microsoft account. Now Kelly will be prompted to store her private key in one of three ways. This is in case she needs to access her hub from a new browser or device. The first method is to store the private key using our free mobile app, Devolutions Workspace. This mobile app is a perfect place to store your hub's private key, but it is also a full-fledged authenticator app with push notifications and a convenient location to access your password hub vaults. The second method is to download and print the QR code when needed to approve new devices. The third method is to add the private key to a Devolutions account password and approve new device or browsers using this password. Just select the solution recommended to you by your security and IT department. For Kelly, she's decided to use the Devolutions workspace method to store her private key since the app can not only be used as an authenticator tool, but also to quickly and securely access her password hub vault contents on the go. Now that she has the app installed, she can proceed to the pairing process. She'll open up the Workspace app on her mobile phone and then click on the plus icon. Then she'll select scan a QR code and scan the code on her computer screen. Now the device will pair and the process is finished. If she returns to her screen, Password Hub will have detected a successful pairing and move on to the next step. Here, an approval page will display asking if she's received an invitation or not. Since she already has received one, she'll select yes. Now she can copy and paste the invitation ID and key that was in an email earlier and put it into these fields. And once that's done, she'll have access to her brand new hub. So let's take a quick look around and see what Kelly can take full advantage of with Password Hub. On the top left, we see the vault selector, which allows her to quickly switch between the vaults that she's been given permission to access. And everything is organized neatly into folders so she can get to the entries she needs easily. For today's example, let's have Kelly start by accessing her empty user vault. This is where she can store her personal business related entries like alarm codes, website credentials, and so forth. So let's say she wants to add her building alarm code. She can do so easily by filling out the relevant information and saving it at the end. It's as simple as that. Now for website credentials, these entries can be added manually like we just did, or they can be auto-generated using the Devolutions Web Login browser extension. With Devolutions Web Login, or DWL for short, users can conveniently retrieve and store website credentials using their favorite browser without having to open the web interface. We've found that most business users like Kelly really enjoy and prefer using this method to access their hub contents. So let's have Kelly set this up and install the DWL browser extension. To make this easy, she's gonna start by going to Tools and then selecting Apps and Tools, which will take her to the Password Hub Companion Tools website. Then under Devolutions Web Login, she can select Chrome, since this is the browser detected from the website, and add to Chrome. And we'll have her pin it to the top for easy access. Let's close these other tabs and connect DWL to her Password Hub. So when we click on the extension, we're prompted to select a data source to connect to. Let's select Password Hub Business. Here we need to insert the Password Hub name, so she can simply just copy and paste and then select Test Connection and then Save. There we go. Since she's already logged into her hub via her Microsoft account, she won't need to authenticate again. Now, since this is the first time she connects to DWL, she needs to choose which vaults she wants to sync with the extension. So she can click on DWL, then the vault icon, and then select vaults to sync. And she'll be syncing all of them today. 
Now, while we're in here, I wanted to show you that when her vault is more populated with websites, she can simply go to the search field and search for the website she wants to access, and it'll take her directly there. It's kind of like a bookmark, but with the credentials ready to be inserted into the site. Okay, so let's see it in action by visiting a website that Kelly uses every day to collaborate with her team. She'll simply type in her username and password as usual. But then since DWL is connected, it will prompt her to save the credentials in one of the vaults that she has write permissions to. She's going to save it in her user vault. If we refresh the hub, we'll see that the new website credentials appear. So now if we go back to the Atlassian website, you'll see that a small indicator icon with a little one appears in the credential fields as well as in the browser extension, indicating that a credential was detected for this website. So let's have her click on the credentials and let DWL do its magic. Now that was really easy and she didn't even have to remember any of her passwords. So at this point, Kelly has everything she needs to safely vault her entries, as well as use credentials to access her favorite websites. We hope this video is a help to you as you start using Password Hub Business in your organization. As always, please feel free to contact our support team if you have any questions whatsoever concerning our solutions. We'd love to help you in any way that we can. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.